what's going on? This is Steven C. Raphael, your old mad man. Here's a G arpeggio. <laughs> Promoting one meal a day, and uh, I lost 60 pounds. I, I don't have a picture right now because it's at my other studio, but I just got kicked out of my studio. I'm not, I got kicked out of here, but I just waited for her to go to, to work, and now I snuck in. Ha, ha, ha. Now listen. I do, uh, I'm from the planet of Omania, and I've got a lot of things in store for you today. Sorry it's a little bit late, but you know, what can you do? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, thank you for the subscribers, and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for my PayPal. I woke up in the middle of the night, and I got like a dollar tip from Sherry. Stuart, you must be losing some weight. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, this is all about one meal a day. I lost 60 pounds in six months. And let me tell you something. I might repeat myself every single show, but repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the mother of skill. Okay, let's see. I do little comedy songs about fat people and stuff and uh, about myself mostly because I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was chomping and chomping and chomping on the... Did you guys know I'm still going to do my musical? Okay, and also all these songs that I'm doing, they're coming out on Volume 1, Volume 2, The Omad Man. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, I want to first start off, guy, by giving you a little bit of value. I've talked about these probably 20 times on the show. I've got over 100 and, uh, I don't know, 115 or 120 videos on from social situations. People say, hey, you're not eating. And you're like, yeah, I'm fat enough. I, I'll eat at five o'clock. You know, I, on my planet, there's a restaurant on the planet of Omania, O-M-A-D, one meal a day. It opens at five and we all know it closes at 5.30. You know, if it closes at six, that's okay. I just eat slow. Okay, I, I've memorized 93 things. Now, uh, yesterday I did from one to 20. Today I'm gonna give you uh, from 20 to 40. They're all memorized. Okay, check this out. You're, you're going to be in control. You're not self-control. You won't be going, oh, what restaurant will you be going to? Oh, what restaurant? Okay. Your BMI will be incredible. I have no fat. To be honest with you, I'm here. I'm from California, but I'm here in Nebraska, and I'm freezing. That's one of the drawbacks of OMAD. OMAD is the diet for me, but it's a lifestyle. OMAD is the diet for me. I have a degree at OMA University. Okay, that's one of the drawbacks. Okay, another thing is you're going to get into your hobbies because you're not going to be eating all day long, you know? So uh, I got some uh, coffee here from Czechoslovakia. Thank you. And I got a, some Mormons gave me this one day or something. They, I thought it was nice. Okay, listen, um, that has nothing to do with OMAD. So here, let's go on. Now you're also gonna, your clothes are gonna fit way better. Okay, another thing, um, number 26, you have benefit of OMAD one meal a day. You are going to eat one plate. You take a little bit of protein, protein carbs, and fat. Oh my, last night I wasn't feeling very good, so I had a little bit of toast. <laughs> and add a little bit of peanut butter, peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter, but protein, carbs, and uh, I didn't. I didn't think there was some fat in the peanut butter. Okay, that's all I, I, I ate. But my stomach is like this big. We'll go on about maintenance. Okay, another thing is uh, if anybody asks you, but somebody asked Carolyn because she's lost like twenty seven pounds yesterday at a funeral. Uh, they said, hey, how'd you get so thin? And she just went on and told one meal day. He thought it was really cool, and he checked out. He looked up Joe, and he looked up the old mad man. And uh, let's see. Um, another thing is you're going to have a eating window, a specific time to eat. Your, your arteries, let me tell you something. When you eat your, your food, I don't care what it is, healthy or unhealthy, your body's got to... Oh, more food. Move forward. But when you don't eat and you fast like all the people throughout history, you know, uh, your, your, your uh, organs are going to be on vacation, you know? Choose, okay. Another thing is uh, um, you're, you're going to feel way better. You're going to save money on toilet paper. That's 31. You're going to be able to run. I mean, you'll be able to walk. You won't look fat. When you, do you know when you like eat and you're like, oh, you got to undo your pants and, you know, uh, 
and, and you know, you're gonna, you, then you won't have to lay down out to do it. You know, I, my brothers used to say, you know, I gotta go straight to bed after I eat. First off, they were eating too much. They were eating their feelings. You know, if they watch the shows, well, first off, they don't watch it anymore. They did in the beginning. And, uh, and then um, another thing is uh, you're going to be way into life. You're always going to be going somewhere. And then on social situation, eating one meal a day, you know, if it's 2 o'clock and they're all at a Chinese buffet, you can help carry the food or have some Chinese tea, non-caloric drink. You know, but you're going to be in control because you've let yourself get out of control so long. I've tried so many things to do a little commercial here. I need to play some music. I've tried so many things and they didn't last. I tried Overeaters Anonymous and they took my cash. I tried Jenny Craig. I tried so many things, but they never, 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 never last. Okay, it's been seven months and I am not even interested in food anymore. You know, um, I'm in maintenance now. We're going to talk about maintenance. I'd like to talk about my uh, OMAD mugs. I don't have any right now. I had some cheating ones that I cut, but one's supposed to come uh, to my house uh, March 3rd, and it has, uh, it has this little cool logo. It's the OMAD man, and it's got all, all the benefits that I'm telling you about. Okay, we're six minutes into it. And uh, another thing it's going to do, it's, uh, let's see what number we are. Uh, 30, 30. Uh, you're, you're not going to have a fat stomach and you're, you're not going to be tempted at gas stations with all that gas station food. Your doctor's going to be impressed. You're going to have self-control. You'll be eating when you're hungry and food will taste so much better. Can any, you know, I know there's some heavy set people out there. Have, do, can you even remember the last time you ate when you were hungry? How many times do we just eat when we just feel like eating? You know, or, oh, there's some Cheez-Its, and I want to watch uh, Ricky Lake or whatever those shows are about people yelling. Okay, and then another thing is, uh, let's see what number I'm on. Okay, well, I guess that's about enough. I forgot what number I was on. Okay, so uh, I'd like to talk to you about uh, my favorite, the, the hit song. I might have to name the album, Big Boy. The guy over at uh, Starbucks. He's a big, big boy. He's a big, big boy. He's a big, 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 big. Now I've got this new song, which I came up with yesterday, but you know, I used to work for the radio stations, talking on the air, playing little, uh, these silly little songs, Sweet 98 in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, so yesterday I came up with a song about this lady who's, uh, uh, she's got stuff here, she's got stuff here. So it goes, she's got boobation. Her stomach is never on vacation. She eats and eats all day. What will her family say? She's big. She's big. She eats just like a pig. What can I say about her? You know, I could say she give her my number, and she, we could start doing these uh, things online, and I could get. All people have to do is watch the show because I'm going to say the same things over and over. I'm someone who lost it. Don't listen to your fat doctor, your fat nurse, or somebody who goes, uh, we need to get the temporal of the caution and also the lipolysis of Korshman. And also, um, if you're thinking about um, using a, um, a treadmill, you need to get your heart rate up. And up. Are you a, are you a uh, what do you call it? Are you a hamster? You're walking around in that thing or on the thing? And then after that, after you, oh yeah, I worked an hour and you go take a shower. And then you go out to lunch with your friends. You know, it's so embarrassing, you earthlings. Okay, let's see. Uh, I was bipolar, but now I'm feeling better. My family still doesn't like me sometimes. Oh, M-A-D, I was so crazy. I don't know what to say. Okay, nine minutes into the show. Okay, <clears throat> I like to talk about, uh, we're gonna go for the Zen proverb. Oh madman, oh madman, give me some reasons and some wisdom on how to lose weight. Okay, grasshopper, this is some poetry from the good book. Faith is the evidence of things unseen and certain for what we hope for. 
Now, let's break that down. That's the most powerful thing on the word faith. Nothing to do with religion, so don't, oh, I'm not gonna unsubscribe to this guy's talking about. Let me tell you something. If you wanna get thin, you gotta see it. Faith, you gotta believe in it. Faith is the evidence of things unseen. You can't see it now because you probably have pigation or chinlatory or bapation or tuchization. But listen, faith is the evidence of things unseen and certain of what we hope for. You, you gotta be certain of it, you gotta see it. Take out your pictures when you're in high school or grade school. Okay, that was a little bit, and because I am the yellow mad man. Oink, oink. Okay, let's see. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm having a good time. Um, you know, if you want to binge watch these things, I'm only one click away. I, I've lost 60 pounds and kept it off for seven months. I have no interest in food. It's totally off my radar. You know what? I'm in maintenance right now. I want to talk a little bit about maintenance. Okay, I was 200 pounds, so maybe even a little bit more. But I'm 140, I can go down to 130, I can go down to my original birth weight. But let me tell you one thing. I went to this uh, meeting yesterday, just a bunch of friends and people, and we sit there and, I don't know, there's rules so you can't really cross talk and stuff. So I go to this meeting, and I'm thinking, hey, I'm the old mad man. And if you don't believe I'm the old mad man, check it, I got all these business cards that say I'm the old mad man. Okay, <laughs> but let me tell you something. So I went at about noon when everybody knows the old mad man eats at 5 to 5.30. There's some cookies out there. And, and I had a little coffee and I go, you know, I'm in maintenance. I ate two cookies at about 11 o'clock. Just two regular cookies. I'm not joking. Till 8 o'clock that night, I couldn't have had a teaspoon of baby food in my mouth. I was so full. I don't know what's happened to me. I think I gotta go off OMAD and try to get, I need to gain weight for me because I'm just, I mean, my gosh, I can't eat anything anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of exaggerating, but uh, you know, I wanna thank everybody that watches the show. You know, there's a lot of OMAD guys, six miles to supper. She's in maintenance, she could tell you. And I do a live broadcast uh, on Facebook uh, every Tuesday night at seven to eight. And, um, you know, I'm gonna put these little song together, like 10 songs on iTunes, and so that'll be a product. But I sell these uh, coffee mugs, and that's kinda cool. Now, to give me more value, um, he's a real old mad man. This is the Beatles part of my show. He's a real old mad man, making all his nowhere plans, benefiting. I have so much points of view You know I know what I'm talking about too Is an oh mad man A bit like you and me Oh mad man Okay, thank you. a little bit of Beatles there for you Okay, um, let's see um, I would like to say that uh, What else do I got here? You know that movie You know that movie Six Sense? Carolyn just uh, texted this in to me before I was doing my show. It's a little late. That movie, Six Sense, with that guy with the little cute face, he's about this big. But now, if you guys knew who I'm talking about, he's like 250 pounds now. The guy that said, Mom, I'm ready to talk. She goes, what is it, honey? He's about eight years old. I see dead people. Well, once you do air, oh, mad, it's going to be, and you lose weight, you're going to go, I see fat people. Everybody you look at is fat, you know, everybody. The cars, well, uh, what has happened to cars today? They are so big. They're like putting in a horse in there with a hay. Look at the houses and the garage doors. Look at the refrigerators. They got these big refrigerators and then they got something next to it. I, I mean, I don't have like a really fancy house, you know, but the, it's all gluttonation. You know, everybody's willing to get on a hamster wheel or spend all this money for a, a, 
You know, a, um, ah, I'm not interested. Okay, I'm gonna give a little song here that I always do. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, we're basically, I kind of, uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Faith is the evidence of things unseen and certain for what we hope for. Visualize, get that picture and look at it. If you have to tape it in the back of your wrist, take it. Um, I just wanted to say... Goodbye, it's March 1st. Facebook fan club and post a picture of you first. Goodbye, everybody. We've got 20 seconds left. Okay, well, I want to thank everybody. Thank him. Now, we didn't even talk about it. I would like three gratefuls. So I'm grateful for this channel. I'm grateful for YouTube. They're from my hometown out there in uh, San Bruno. I'm grateful for little baby bluebirds and baby toads. And I'm also grateful for colored hamsters and also red licorice, which I don't get too much, and Swedish fish. I'm also grateful for the color of the snow and uh, I'm all going back to the planet of Omania. Thank you for putting up with me and I hope you liked it. Send me your three gratefuls. I like you!